All right, Aiden, checking in here in uh, lovely Waikiki Beach. You made it all the way out to Hawaii. Talk right. about how excited you are to be here. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm really excited to play, meet all the guys, and have fun in my home place, Hawaii. <laughs> um, lots, lots changed over the, the time you've been a recruit, especially, but you signed with Notre Dame. Just tell us how much of a relief it was to, to get that over with, and now you're official, officially a member of the, the squad. Oh, it was so much of it. I mean, the recruiting process was fun, but it was stressful. And it was a lot on my back, a lot of talking to a lot of coaches, juggling a lot of decisions, but very happy with where I'm going. I love Notre Dame and just what they're doing there is where I want to be. Uh, did you get a chance to watch the bowl game? Of course, of course. Yeah, what were your big takeaways from that? Oh, man, don't, Notre Dame just dominated. I think they should have got a better bowl than what they got. But, I mean, they went out there, they did what they did, proved to everyone that, like, we should have had a better bowl. But I think they're, they're going to have some quarterbacks coming back, everyone's coming back. So, I mean, the D-line played awesome. So it was great to watch. Yeah, do you think that was important from a perception standpoint? Because there were some people saying, you know, it's perceptive of the playoff last year. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they don't be on the big stage. But they, like you said, they dominated that game. I mean, I always believe, I don't believe that – they don't belong on the big stage. They definitely do belong on the big stage. I mean, I watched the Georgia game. They did great against Georgia. I mean, that's right. a big SEC team. My D, the D, D, Notre Dame's D line did amazing against those big Georgia offense linemen. And I don't believe where, I mean, different schools, they're better. I think that they're all, all the kids at different schools are great. It's just, you know, it's what happens in the game. It's all, it all's different in the game. You mentioned the D line and how well they played. How have they told you? you're going to kind of fit in and what are, what are the opportunities going to be for you there early? Oh, yeah. They told me they're like, they want, they're me, they're going to put me in the middle. I'm going to be one of the biggest guys that come in, actually, and a really big guy. He told me I'm going to be very critical with their inside. They had a, some trouble there this year with running up the middle and exposing with double teams, and I'm going to do my best to be that filler. <laughs> so when's the plan? When are you moving in and stuff like that? I believe I go up there June 13th. Okay. And starting that summer, I could, my school wouldn't allow me to early enroll. But I mean, I get to come to Hawaii, so I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> and, uh, you get to go to prom too. Oh, uh, yeah. Out, right? yeah. Spring break, everything. It's still pretty good, but I'm going up there June 13th and starting off summer school and summer workouts. Anybody else that you're trying to add late or help recruit uh, in this late signing period for Notre Dame? I know I did. I helped a little bit with Braden McGregor and Riley Mills, but besides that, not really anyone else. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. Of course.